Okay, we were a bit busy, so we have to do a car review today. Yes, we're driving back from Somerset West, yes. back to Cape Town. So today we will be checking out Incantation. When I started watching the movie and it had that, in the beginning it had that thing that you had to repeat. Um, that little um, incantation. incantation. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it. It yeah. made me very uncomfortable. And it like kind of compels you to do it too. And I went like la 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 <laughs> la la la. That was very funny. <laughs> that was very I funny. I didn't want to remember it because yeah, yeah you never know. But um, yeah, it's, um, we haven't seen, I haven't actually watched like an Eastern horror in a while. No, no. You know, I mean, obviously stuff like The Ring and Grudge, those kind of things, it didn't saturate it, but, no, but it was it a new a... type of horror, which was very cool, but it sort of got, um, what's yeah, the word? It's a bit, became a bit... Saturated, mainly yeah. because of remakes and all that kind of thing. Listen, where are we driving? Yeah, now? I took the wrong turn. <laughs> <laughs> the whole Grudge Ring thing became a bit too, more, like a formula, uh, formulaic. Well, well, Black hair, wet. You see girls that are sort of drenched long, with long black, black hair, hair. And staring yes, eyes. Yes. It was like I said, it was very cool in the beginning, and then it became a bit same old. Yes. Um, but Although this it's movie, still cool. It's another still thing cool. about this is this also I haven't really watched besides Willow Creek that we normally mention because it's the last real kind of uh, found footage that we recently watched. But yeah, so found footage wise, again, um, it was actually not badly. It didn't feel too forced because. Yes. You, know, you can just say, okay, what, what happened? Why why did this whole thing get shot? We start the movie with a boyfriend and girlfriend. It's a couple and a friend, a third friend. And they do like kind of paranormal investigating. They're like a little ghost squad. And they go to the one guy's family's um, retreat, which is like far, it's out of uh, out of a big city. It's sort of off the beaten and track. And kind of like a religious cult. It's like it? a religious cult, yes. It's this family cult. And but they're not they're going because the, the, the family is thinking that they want to participate legitimately in this thing. But actually it is they going because they're wanting to document it, which they're not allowed to do. They're not supposed to do it. And in fact it's dangerous to do that. And I think that the, the, the boyfriend and the friend are family like cousins because when they arrive at the at the family house, the, the parents are immediately, or the uncle, is immediately upset that because there's a fam there's a person that's not a family yeah. member. I, d I didn't I don't know I didn't yeah. look at details like that, so I can't vouch for that. And then statement. basically, what this tradition entails is they've got this space with a big tunnel, like a little cave that goes passage, in a passage, it yes. And this passage is forever sealed, and a certain time of the year or whatever they leave um, they do a sacrifice for this for whatever is in this cave I think you may be giving away too much details now maybe but mainly the, yeah. the, 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 the main part I show is this woman she had a kid but but this girl is pregnant she didn't even know she was pregnant the the one grandmother just knew when she looked at her she said you're pregnant so now, but then she, she, the kid got taken away from her because she had to go to psychiatric. Yes, obviously the movie goes about, is, is about what happened during this time. So it's, we, we're dealing with a lot of, lots of flashbacks. And this girl after her experience has, were psychologically damaged and she, her child was taken away from her. And we, we start where we are now, she's, the child is five years old. And she's getting the child back because she's stable. She's emotionally and, and, and psychologically she's, she stable. Wants, and she documents this, this yes. new... the reintroduction yeah. of the child into her life. So that's why there's a lot of video footage of them. Yeah. So, um, yes. You're saying I'm saying too much, so now you yeah. must maybe take over then. No, 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 you can keep going. That's not fun. But what happens is that when she takes her little daughter home 
the child begins to experience paranormal things. The child starts seeing things. Talking to things in the ceiling. Talking to things that's not there. Um, and some there was a couple of frights that had Sonia jump pretty yes, high. Yes, yes. So there were some very effective scares. In yes, this one. very effective. And then this girl basically takes the bull by the horns and she decides, look, I need to get behind whatever the story is here. And the guy that had the foster home uh, where her little daughter stayed, he goes with her and they basically go back. And the past, all, well, all the stuff that happened starts getting unco yes. un uncovered. But what I can say... And, and they also had footage from when they were there. Yes, yes, um, yes. Pre previously. So, then, it's, so it's intercut with her, documenting yes. her new life with a kid that she doesn't really know yet. Um, yeah. The stuff that happened in the It's farm. basically the flashbacks to the past, the, the documentation of her child being in, reintroduced into her life, and the present. But there's a little bit more things that come out that the in, in, in terms of doing a little bit of research, the, the guy that runs the foster home that he finds out. But I can't say anything because that's going to give it away. Yeah. But the, 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 the end of the thing is, is they do go back to this place to see if, if there's any way to um, to basically reverse this and, curse that's on the in, little girl. And always in, in found footage situations you go and you think, no, will someone really still film themselves doing this if they're kind of in peril or in, in fear of their life? That, that's always yeah. the one thing about found, some, and, and some shots felt like it was not her shooting it. Yes. So, you kind of go into the found footage vibe and accept it, yes. but then when something like that happens, then it kind of throws you out of it. Yeah, but I think so they, that only happened once or once, twice. Once, yeah, but I, I think they generally is, they establish the found footage vibe well enough so that those those little two things towards the end of the movie. While you do notice and you do have to ask yourself, okay, well, who filmed this? It doesn't bother you yeah. that much because you understand yeah, you're watching yeah, I'm, a I'm, film. I'm, I'm finicky like that when it no, comes course, to found yeah, footage. Yeah. It must be done found footage. Yes, you yes. can't all of a sudden have a, a third person video yeah. uh, camera angle yeah, of, yeah. who's holding that camera. But that, that, that's, 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 a, that's a small thing. That's but what I can thing. say about the movie is that um, from the absolute get go, the first thing on the screen, it, it was just it, 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 it unsettled me because it was this repetition of this incantation which I didn't want to hear or understand or remember <laughs> and um, and as we go it becomes yeah it becomes this less this like repetition in it that's so disorientating and so disturbing it's small things in this film that is disturbing but it's brilliantly done and also some creepy weird bits where she Yes. She, had, she was kind of desperate, having to uh, try and solve this thing that we don't want to yes, get into too yeah. much. And she had to go to do a certain kind of ritual. And those folks, those, when she went to their place, and there's some weird stuff happening. Yeah. Uh, there's, some, there's some creepy bits, some scary bits. And true to, to the style of cinema, it, 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 it keeps to that um, strangeness, that foreignness, that I think from a Western perspective, we as Westerners don't really get, but it's disturbing for us. Um, and I thought it was really well shot and beautifully made. The acting, oh, it's sub, we did we do the subtitles? I can't remember. Yeah, no, 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 I, mean, I didn't want to. Yeah, yeah we, we, we watched did the dub it version. So if you're brave enough um, and you've still got have good eyesight, I would recommend trying. <laughs> <Still have> good <laughs> good I would recommend trying with the subtitles because you're gonna get a, a far more authentic maybe experience. But it wasn't bad. But, the but, dubbing wasn't bad. But like this is also a case that it's the kind of movie where I want to see yes, the stuff on the screen yes. and if you read watch, read watch. Yeah, you you, you kind of you'll lose because some of the things is, is, is slight and it's quick. Yeah. Um, but. I enjoyed the film. I really enjoyed it. It left me with an even when it was done. I was like, I felt a little bit and uneasy. I've, I didn't hear of them, and we just sort of spotted it when it popped up on Netflix. So we said, yeah, let's check yeah, it out. Let's check it out. Because um, it's yeah, just to catch new new movies constantly is not always that easy, especially in the cinema. 
and if something releases on Netflix, to get time to get to everything. Yes. So a lot of our stuff is kind of older stuff that we're catching up on, which is fine because hey, if you can revisit cool old movies instead of watching new crap ones, I don't mind that at all. No, it's a uh... But not Hopefully. saying not saying that all the new ones are crap. It's no, just no, no. That the ideas are really starting to run thin. It's and this one is something else, and and hopefully we entice you to check it out. Mm, it was, yes, it's worth it's worth checking. Out. Yes. Score wise, um, for me, I would give it a six out of ten. Yeah, I would give it a six and a half, but then we just know. Mm. Um, whittle it down to six. I'm, I'm subtracting marks because of the the. Um, the fact that towards the end of the movie, you there's not a there's not a, a reasonable explanation for who's filming. I mean, no, not all the time though. No, 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 just the, yeah. just at the at the end. Actually, just one scene. It, it gets, but it also it becomes not chaotic, but very. It's frantic. Disorientating. Yeah. Very disorientating. So I'm sure it's part of it yeah. until yeah. the last bit that you didn't like. You no. well, didn't like it, but yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> super disturbing. So, yeah, yeah, it's worth while we're checking out. Um, yes. I don't know, I think we should maybe delve into more of the, the Eastern stuff because, like I said, I haven't seen anything recently. Yeah, and this was a nice um, departure from from the formulaic Eastern type horror that we've been watching for yeah. the last couple of years, I think. Not to not to take away from that, that uh, genre because it's stunning. But, and it's super scary, but this was something else and I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Subscribe please. Yes. Comment please. Did you see it? Did yeah. you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, what should we look at yeah, next? Suggest something. If we, yeah, suggest something. Yeah, whenever we can squeeze it in, because we're also currently busy with our Celebroid Film Festival, then we're into the South African Horror Festival over Halloween time. We've got a Terminatrix album release, launch 20th anniversary shows, and it's a bit of a hectic, crazy, crammed up time shooting music video um, so when we can get to it we will get to it but if you have suggestions please please tell us yes. so maybe if we have seen them already then we can just chat about it absolutely we, we don't still need to sit down and watch yeah. but yeah check out our merch store oh lots of cool stuff yes and watch from some the, more more of the other reviews yes and from the end too we say bye -bye. see you on the road stag <laughs> that's from Mad Max. Mad Max. We're showing a documentary at Celluloid Beyond the Wasteland about Mad Max fandom and people building Mad Max cars, dressing up like Mad Max characters, going out into the desert. It's like a like a Burning Man for Mad Max crazies. <laughs> Once one cinema screening only at Celluloid. Plug plug. Go check it out on the second of September at the Lager Theatre. Celluloid.net. And if you watched all the way here, but hey, if you did. Thanks for sticking around. See you later. Bye.